and another efficiency problem. Okay, in this problem we're saying how much energy does it take to drive a 200 horsepower car at 20% power for three hours if it is 12% efficient. This part here, the 20% power, that's because when you're driving a car at 100 kilometers per hour on a highway, you don't have the, the engine revving at high speed. You really pull back on the gas a little bit. So you're not using all the power of the engine. We're using only 20% of the power. And the engine isn't 100% efficient. So the question is, it's like saying, how much fuel must you put in the car? What do you have to have in that car energy-wise to get this car to do this? Well, the car is going to drive for three hours. It's going to produce, it, that's going to use up a certain amount of energy. And that's the energy you got out. The energy in is, well, since it's only 12% efficient, what do I have to have in order to get that? So before we can find out what the energy out is, we've got to figure out, um, so what the energy in is, we've got to figure out what did we get out of this. Well, first we've got to look at our givens. Our power is 200 horsepower at 20%. So the power is really 200 times 0 0.2, which is 40 horsepower. That's all we're really using, 20% of the uh, horsepower of the motor. But we can't use horsepower, we've got to use uh, watts. So to change horsepower to watts, you multiply by 746. This is just a number that's a conversion factor, so it's no big deal. And you get uh, that equals 29840 watts. 29,840 watts. So I know what power I'm getting out of this engine right now. Uh, the time is three hours. Well, we can't have hours as our time. So we have to convert that to seconds by multiplying by 60 and by 60 to turn uh, hours into minutes, minutes into seconds. And our answer to that is uh, 10,800 seconds. So I know the power, I know the time. So I can figure out the energy associated with that because the formula for power is energy divided by time. So I rearrange energy is power times time. My power is 29,840 watts times 10,800 seconds. So the energy that this car used was 3.2 times 10 to the 8. 10 to the 8 joules. That is what the car used up. But how much fuel did I need? Because I'm only 12% efficient. So I need to find out what number is associated with that. This is the energy out. That's what I got out of this car. What did I have to put into the fuel? And it's going to be a bigger number because I'm only 12% efficient. So I get my formula. Efficiency equals energy out divided by energy in times 100%. And let's plug in the numbers. Efficiency is 12%. The energy I got out was 3.2 times 10 to the 8. The energy in is what I'm looking for, so we can solve for that. Now, as you know, 12% is a decimal of 0 0.12. But the way we get that is we divide this by 100%, we divide this by 100%, we get 0 0.12. And so we get that is equal to 3.2 times 10 to the 8 divided by the energy in. The energy in, which is what we're looking for, is 2.68 times 10 to the 9 joules. That's how much energy the fuel had to have to get us 3.2 times 10 to the 8. So this must be 12% of this number. 